Thanks a lot. A milestone today for cleaner air in L.A. County. The MTA retired the last of its diesel buses. As Eyewitness News reporter Leo Stallworth shows us, the entire fleet now runs on alternative fuel. This morning, the Los Angeles County Metropolitan Transportation Authority retired the last diesel fuel bus in its fleet. The MTA now operates a fleet of nearly 2,300 alternative clean fuel buses. Today, we not only have uh, much cleaner air, uh, but we have a world-class clean fuel system, uh, the leader, uh, and everything that we've done. Uh, cities across the nation and the world have replicated. The first of these green buses hit the streets of L.A. back in 1993, nearly 20 years ago. Since that time, as these buses have rolled out, they've logged more than a billion miles on our streets. MTA officials say that's a billion clean air miles. They are 97 percent cleaner than diesel buses, and they are replacing these diesel buses. As a result, we are reducing cancer-causing particulate matter by 98 percent, carbon monoxide by 80 percent, greenhouse gases by over 20 percent. While most of the buses have compressed natural gas engines or CNG engines, there is one electric and six gasoline electric hybrid buses in the fleets. Officials say they've slashed the fleet's fuel cost in half with the CNG buses. Metro riders we talked to believe CNG buses and other clean air efforts have gone a long way in getting rid of dirty air. As they say, it is the nation's largest clean air fleet, and we're proud of that. Twenty years ago, you couldn't even you can't you couldn't even run without um, breathing uh, hard, like you had asthma or something. Now you can run like the wind, and uh, you, nothing else happens. It's great. MTA officials say while CNG buses cost about 10 or 15 percent more to operate than diesel engine buses, mainly because of increased maintenance costs, the health benefits make it worth every penny. In L.A., Leo Storworth, ABC 7 Eyewitness News.